Space Test test conductor for the lunar module reported that Eagle was go. The swing arm now coming back to its fully retracted position as our countdown continues. T minus four minutes, 50 seconds and counting. Well, we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. We know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of them, advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals. Then about 10 years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his caves. Only five years ago, man learned to write. Christianity began less than two years ago. The printing press came this year. And then less than two months ago, during this whole 50 year span of human history, the steam engine provided a new source of power. Newton explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric lights and telephones and automobiles and airplanes became available. Only last week, we developed penicillin and television and nuclear power. And now, if America's new spacecraft succeeds, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. But why, some say, the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The I would say, my fellow citizens, we shall send the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston. A giant rocket, more than 300 feet tall, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, fitted together with a precision better than the finest rocket, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communication, on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speed over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that of the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictate is out, then we must be home.
mile. Oh, well, if you see a good at one minute. Downrange one mile, altitude four miles down. Eight miles downrange, 12 miles high. Velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the hot engine, cut down now. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, mode one, Charlie. You are go for staging. Houston thrusters go. All engines, you're looking good. Tower, Roger. Roger, Tower. Houston, be advised the visual is go today. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look out. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go for DOI. Over. Apollo 11, thank you. Houston, this is Houston. 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 Velocity 35,570 feet per second. Alright, your 11 will pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now.
dark sides in the shadow will become completely black. Uh, I think you'll agree that uh, some of these creatures that uh, you're seeing in the picture now are really accentuated by the, uh, the lengthening of the shadows as it approaches the Terminator. There you have it, uh, our first glimpse of the lunar surface uh, during the Apollo 11 mission. This is Apollo Control Houston. It is now uh, July 20, the day scheduled for lunar landing. Hello, Eagle Houston, we're standing by, over. Roger, Eagle, turn dark. Roger, how does it look? Eagle, Eagle has wings. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for power descent. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guide? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. GNC? Go. Ecom? Go. Surgeon? Go. Capcom, we're go for power descent. Eagle, Houston, and you ring your go for power descent. Over. Houston, 10%. Altitude, go go high. Houston, you're looking at our Delta H. Alright, it's good. Flight alarm. Looks good. Looking good, Doc. Over. Something at guidance. 1202. Same, uh, 1202. Right, retro. Go retro. Throttle down. 6 plus 2 plus reading on the 1202 alarm. We have another 1202 alarm. 1202. What's that? If we take any overflow, if it's not occurred yet, we're fine. We're, we're going on that flight. We're going on that alarm. That time, we're going on flight. Okay, we're going. We're going. Same time. We're going. Single alarm. Tell him to leave it alone and we'll monitor it, okay? Okay, 75 feet. He's looking good down and a half. Right. He's taking him his up H now. Right. 60 seconds. Two and a half now. Three shadows. Four forward. Four forward. Two to the right level. Okay, good job. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Okay, keep the chatter down in this room. Hatch reporting coming open at 109 hours, 8 minutes, 5 seconds. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamp foot beds are on the, uh, uh, depressed in the surface about, uh, one or two inches. And they'll uh, step off the lamp now.
50 years ago tonight, humans walked on the moon for the first time. Hundreds of thousands of Americans worked together for this moment. Millions more were inspired by it. The United States is working to send humans back to the moon. The Artemis missions will carry the fire of Apollo under the same banner of freedom and peace. The spirit of Apollo is a world in which the sky is no longer the limit and the moon is just the beginning. Thank you.